David has a new vest every oh, year. Oh, he does. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I want to refresh your memory. All right. Are we ready? Yep. Okay. So it is what that year is year this? We're getting ready to go to work. Oh, parties, man, parties, he does look better with facial hair. <laughs> you can parties, see his chain right there. Parties, neighborhood parties. <laughs> He's Our a ball, big baller. Yeah. To <laughs> we had a staff party here just in a couple of weeks, and we actually have an in-office uh, Christmas kind of judging over our I mean, the deep V. <laughs> I mean, it is I mean, he's unbuttoned that thing down to the, the top of the vest. This has got to be the last night. <laughs> it's got to be. <laughs> Oh, but, no, you're quite oh, an outdoors. What is Shaq wearing? You from your flannel. Who are, who are you pajamas that uh, year, remember that? PJ's some, there. Oh, that's, he's the only one that did nice. that. That is Florida Christmas. Oh, and, uh, and, 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 it, and then on the back, we've got, well, that kind of looks like. Santa and July. Oh, was this the same year you did the video? video right? uh, so, was it karaoke when they wore those? We did the karaoke the next Okay. Oh, the carpool karaoke. Good stewardship. Hi, Dennis. Crowd finally, yeah. Crowd finally, right? Oh, man. That Jason looks way too much hair. Oh, look at this guy. He Darren looks so different too. Oh, oh. Like okay. a young guy there. You guys got the same <laughs> bottoms yes. on, the same top on. Uh. Whoa. 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 Yeah. These pastors have aged like 20 years in five years. <laughs> it's amazing what COVID, <laughs> COVID has done. Right? So sure it's like yeah. baptism. <laughs> Obviously. Well, my goodness. And so this was this was the very first nice one I was shorts. in. shorts. Nice shorts. Uh, is that your baptism? They, they didn't attire, mention having to do these it? things during the Just interview in the process. Pinch, absolutely. Well, um, you know what a great leader he is. Uh, so you guys, we've got a whole herd of, of pastors here tonight. Now we just need, you know what, to make this really happen, uh, we just need one more thing. I think I've got. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I know this was not oh, when the personnel committee interviewed me. This oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, this is you guys, know, yeah. Pastor Scott, if you would just. We still have oh. those sweaters in the clothes that I saw. Um, well, here at the church, we don't throw anything away. That's it. <laughs> it's yes. an FBC mail policy. Good stewards, we, yes. yes. That's right. Rudolph, the red nosed preacher. I have been here 22 and a half years. Came in 2000, it's easy to remember. We just moved in this building. I came um, the first Sunday of June and we moved in this building on the third Sunday of June. I've been fortunate to be the last couple of years. I've been under yeah, the radar. I think they just needed higher quality. I just, uh, yeah, I just think they've got better selection to choose from. <laughs> and I am certainly content with that. <laughs> uh, of course, I think it's a great thing. You know, we as pastors supposedly are serious all the time, and so it's good to show a little human side, you know, have a little levity. Typically does this kind of early in the program, you know, so they can't move on to more serious things. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, kind of do the ground a little bit, yeah. All right, hey, it's... Oh, okay, this is check nice. Are we the... ready? <laughs> what do you recall? All right. The most famous reindeer of all. <laughs> Look at that. Like, Scott is a ham. Can you sing Oh, yeah. Out. He's very good at this. Yes. 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 Look at him. Oh. 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 But he didn't do the 12 Days of Christmas. He didn't do the dancing. He is in it this year. Though. This seems like an easy one compared to this one. Wouldn't have been too bad. Yeah, you can sign me up for this all day. thought we were done there and it just starts doing circles. I think this one was just fun. No matter what when Scott's in, he can't resist having to dance at some point along the way. <laughs> I mean, it's silly, but like... <laughs> He's gassed. We are not the most aerobic bunch. <laughs> yeah, over the years in ministry, we've been dunked, pied. For a while, particularly when Iwana was going on, the dunking booth was a popular thing. I'm kind of glad we're past the dunking booth stage and 
And I'm kind of pulling the age card on that now. I kind of want Brother Larry, hey, you know, we, we've done this long enough. Uh, let the younger guys do it. Encourage them in ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. I forgot about this. Forgot that. I can't get coordinated with the right <laughs> leg. Like they're not even on the same leg. <laughs> Jason Shag, man, he get his legs up there. Scott there is kicking with the wrong leg. Enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you always have, have little gems like that and sprinkle out through the holes. <laughs> they're not the Rockettes, but they're all we got here at First Baptist. All right, a lot of fun. <laughs> well, I certainly appreciate our decorating team. Uh, I think they set a, a mode and a tone, you know, for us. They put in a lot of work on that. When we come in on that first Sunday after Thanksgiving and see the decorations, it kind of is a kind of a good kickstart to the Christmas spirit. There's always something special about Christmas Eve. Um, you know, uh, there's been a lot of time and energy going into buying packages, gifts, you know, getting ready for Christmas. Uh, but what I love about Christmas Eve um, is to come together as the church family. And then really it's the ride home for me, because uh, typically we're here later on Christmas Eve. And by that time, all the stores have shut down. Uh, the, you know, the roads are getting less traveled. And I feel like, you know, it can be, you know, more of a final link settling down to really just celebrate the birth of the Savior. Uh, so make it a tradition to come each Christmas Eve. Uh, we offer different services uh, to make it easy for your family in case you have dinner that evening or plans and things like that. But truly the way to, to start the um, Christmas um, Day celebration is to be here on Christmas Eve. <laughs>